Hi everyone and welcome back to a new part on the how to make a personal letter Excel game series. In this video we're going to be fixing the uh, damaging system. Also, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files, including the one you're watching right now, all of the scripts, asset pack, maps are included. They are all available on my Patreon in the $10 tier. The link will be in the description. With that being said, let's start. Alright, so what I'm going to do is fix the damaging system. So I'm going to enter the health system script and I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to get rid of this damage connection. Dash dot spawn, get rid of that and get rid of these two last ends with brackets. Format, format document. And I'm just going to go here, remove the damage connection, call and disconnect. Do the same thing here on the stop damage and drop dot on client event and then get rid of the damage connection. And what I'm going to do next is go here and enter the send pet module. And what I'm going to do is inside of this. So we're checking if where's the bounce. Okay. So when we set this to the drop, what I'm going to do is get rid get rid of this. And I'm going to type in backslotspawn function repeat task dot wait one second one second is the delay between each time you damage the drop so that's not wait one until layer dot values and we find first child stop damaging dot values equal equal to true uh, all right so now what i'm going to do in here is check if player come and find just copy this so if player on find first child that is equal to true, then we're going to break this loop. And right here, what I'm going to do is do remotes dot damage drop dot damage drop colon fire client player, and we're going to give it the drop and how much damage. So I want to apply thirty damage. We'll make this dependent on the how much how many pets you have. I mean the pet multiplier that you have equipped and what we're going to do next is after this task spawn we're going to do a task dot wait one second and send okay so sending the balances square brackets player is equal to false that should work after that what i'm going to do is inside of this i'm going to scroll down here and okay so I think I'm going to get ri rid of this for now, and I'm going to do player dot values colon find first child colon find first child stop stop damaging dot value is equal to false. Uh, all right, so we're going to set it to false. Actually, we're going to set it to true, and we're going to do task dot wait zero point five and uh, player dot values uh, dot call find first child stop damaging dot value is equal to false okay so after that we're gonna fire the stop damaging drop remote so remote dot stop damaging drop call fire client and of course that will take the player and the drop and after that what I'm going to do is enter my main server script and i'm going to scroll all the way down here to okay so we're going to scroll down to this and right here we're where we set this to nil i'm going to okay so i'm going to add a task.spawn task.spawn function that task.spawn function and inside of that i'm going to do player.values dot dot stop that okay can we find first child stop damaging drop stop that actually it's just stop damaging sorry stop damaging uh dot value is equal to fall to, to true and after two seconds what we're gonna do is player dot values on find first child stop damaging dot value is equal to false all right, so what I'm going to do next is inside of the, or is it main SS? 
Uh, okay, so inside of server storage, player data, what I'm going to do is inside of the values, I'm going to add a bool value and I'm going to call it stop damaging. And if I go ahead and play the game right now, I am fairly sure everything will work just fine. Let's hope that I did not make any errors. Okay, so I'm going to choose a pet. I'm going to choose this. I'm going to click this. And as you can see, it does damage the drop. And now the system is a lot better. Okay, so we have a problem. Find first child. Oh. If player... Okay, so player values. Find first... F uh, okay, so I, I spelled first wrong. Find first child. And now that should work. Okay, so I'm going to choose a pet. Like this. As you can see, after each second, it will damage it. Now it's a lot safer because we are dealing the damage from the server. And what I just realized... Okay, never mind. It works. And this works too. I'm going to click this. As you can see, it does damage it. I'll click this again. It damages it. And... Alright, so everything works just fine all right so next thing i'm gonna do is add a button to open the fox to, to, uh, i mean to open the um where is it the inventory so i'm going to add a frame i'm going to call it buttons i'm going to put it in here And what I'm going to do is go to plugins, unit conversion, scale. You should have this plugin by now. And I'm going to change the background transparency of it to 1. And I'm going to add a UI list layout. And I'm going to select the UI list layout. And I'm going to change the filter direction to horizontal. And I'm going to... Okay, so horizontal alignment a left. I think that's... Yeah, okay, I think that's good. Now I'm going to add a oh, horizontal alignment. I think I am not doing it correctly. I'm going to select this and change this to right. And then I'm going to add a uh, text button. And if I just go ahead and resize it to be... Okay, so now it's a square. And I'm also going to select the wireless layout. And I think the horizontal alignment should be... Uh, should be left. And now I'm going to scale up this model. The, I mean this uh, button. And I'm going to go to plugins, unit conversion, scale. And I'm going to add a constraint. And I'm going to rename this to inventory. And then I'm going to give this a nice style. So I'm going to select this. Display coins. And I'm going to copy the UI stroke in the UI corner. Paste them inside of this. And the text will be uh, maybe pet inventory, the font for Doka one, style bold. Oh, they added this. This looks kind of cool. Didn't know about this. Okay. I'm going to change this to for Doka one. Then I'm not going to make it bold. I'm going to change the text color to... Okay, so I'm going to select the color of this. So copy the background color. Go here. Change the text to... I mean the text color to that. And then I'm just going to... Turn off auto button color and that should work. And now... What I'm going to do, this is temporary by the way, we're going to have the frame opening and closing system done very soon. What I'm going to do here is just enter this local script that I just added to the button and I'm going to type in script.parent.mouse button one click, mouse button one click, okay so mouse button 
one click come up connect function and i'm going to do script dot parent dot parent dot frame oh oh dot parent script okay script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot frames dot inventory dot visible equals not script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot frames dot inventory dot visible now if you go ahead and play the game you should be able to open and close the pen inventory okay so we are able to open and close it which is great and what i'm going to do is add all the pets to this egg and i'll be back all right so this is going to be it for today's tutorial if this helped make sure to subscribe like the video share it with your friends and i'll see you all in the next video bye